Good morning, interwebs. It's 9.42, which means that I slept in. Isn't that sad and pathetic? Um, I've been up for like a whole 10 minutes. I'm now just walking down the driveway because I have a weekend's worth of online orders to go put in the mail so they can wing their way to you lovely people out there in the world. <sighs> so, I'm up. I had mentioned the other day that I've been waking up at like the same time every day, like 8.33 or 8.37, I think. I slept in at like a whole hour today because it was 9.30 something when I woke up, but still, <laughs> not a super pleasant way to wake up. Is it your favorite way to wake up with like your heart all racing and feeling all anxious and panicky? That's like a great way to start your day. Oh, it isn't? It's the way I'm starting mine today, so I guess that's a thing start by putting this nail in and then I guess we'll go figure out some breakfast situation. Steve is currently sleeping on the couch right now because he home from work at like 8.20 and rather than going running because he has soccer tonight, he uh, is taking a little nap because he has to work tonight too. So I need to get some um, of the video that needs to get uploaded. It's like, I, it was working overnight, so I just need to hit upload, and then um, I'm watching where I'm going so that I don't like fall and hurt myself. The, uh, uh, where was I? I'm losing my train of thought a lot. I apologize. Um, I'm gonna work on, I have some bags to sew today. I guess Steve and I need to drive my dad out the way that we think we're gonna drive people when they come been like this ongoing thing that keeps not happening because we live a really weird schedule and Steve and I are pretty good at um, adjusting to that schedule you know because it's our reality but it's very strange to try and put any other humans into that schedule because they uh, they don't always work on the same timetable Steve and I are talking about it oh first of all I always put up the flag and then I like to Look, the mailbox has a little extra love. Okay. I don't usually bring the mail down, honestly. Steve or my kids do. But when I do, I always give it an extra little pat. In part because our mailbox makes a really satisfying little little sound. It has a nice little texture. Anyways. um, Oh, but with our schedule, it's always very strange to integrate another human into it. Because Steve and I are talking about how um, like our day starts whatever time I get up and actually when the kids wake up and everything since we're already in the middle of Steve's day our day starts like full barrel it just goes but I, I that's not really how I like to start my day I really like to like ease into my day have a morning sit around be lazy but that really isn't an option so we just start full barrel then we have lunch and then rest time and then our evening starts out like I would like my morning like it's lazy and you do whatever and it takes a while and yeah so Steve was commenting on how our day is just like broken in half and then flip-flopped which is totally how it is but it just means that things don't always happen we have people here because it just doesn't and it's a general problem across the board it's not just my dad um but anyways, like I said, Steve's sleeping. I'm gonna go figure out breakfast, videos, I have some bags to sew today. Go drive out to the pasture, and then we have soccer tonight. Which probably means we'll go eat in Manhattan tonight, so at least I don't have to think about dinner. I guess that's good. But, okay. I'm almost back up to the house, so I guess I have to do that whole starting my day full bore thing, right? But hey, I already I already can check one thing off because I picked up the camera already today and I mailed a thing. Two things already done of many, many things to do. It's 117 and look, my, my hair is processing, isn't it? It's my attractive saran wrap head. Steve cut my hair and we cut it more than we anticipated, but I think I'm really gonna like it. So y'all get to see it in, I don't know, about another 45 minutes or an hour when I be able to take it out and wash it, but it is staying nicely for me to be able to to make lunch. I'm not melting while I'm doing it, so that's nice. Um, the last couple times I've dyed my hair, it's been like melting down my neck while I was doing things. So, 
I'm going to go and defrost some bread and make peanut butter and jelly sandwich because apparently I'm going to make cop out lunch again today. Yesterday we had crackers and cheese and some fruit. So today we're going to have peanut butter and jelly and some Cheez-Its and maybe some fruit. And then we'll see what the rest of the day. We had oatmeal for breakfast. You made peach oatmeal. So we had, we had a good healthy meal. Now we're just going to eat whatever I come up with. And then I show you too that Steve left the giant sunflower outside my window for me because it's giant and funny and it's just continuing to grow and I need to carry my pink sink which we brought down from our bedroom where I have been being stored. It needs to get added to to the, the flower bed area. It has its little stand is over there. Ooh, and Steve is training my, what I'm calling my pickle plant, my cucumbers up the, uh, the bed and it's, they're finally taking. Okay. I guess Jezebel's reminding me that I should probably go and feed everybody, so I guess I'll go do that. Well, it's 2.08, and here we are in my bed again. Look, my hair. It's it's dramatically shorter, and my roots are repurpled, so that's good. Midnight amethyst, as the box calls it. Mm-hmm. Um, so Steve cut my hair this afternoon, as I mentioned, and then we dyed it, and then I let it process, and then I got to shower, and yeah. So now it looks like this. And many hours have passed. And many things have gone on. Many of them frustrating. Um, after lunch and stuff, I took a nap. And that was alright. <laughs> Two of the three people in my children's room were sleeping. One of them was not. And being obnoxious to those of us that were. But that's just the way it works sometimes. And we were trying to take a nap because we had to go to see a soccer game tonight. Well, because there was a thunderstorm, they canceled the soccer game. It's like the beginning of the tournament or whatever, so um, the number of games he's going to play is still a little up in the air. But there was supposed to be one tonight, and if they want it, there's going to be one on Wednesday. Well, since they canceled one tonight, they're just having the one on Wednesday, and then I don't know when the next game would be after that. But I don't know. We'll see how that all works in our schedule coming up. But Wednesday will definitely work because we were already planning on that. Um, so that was one change, sudden change to my schedule. And then... My uncle and aunt, like, just drive up my driveway all of a sudden this evening out of nowhere. We didn't actually expect them for at least a day or two. Um, they are not staying here, but we definitely didn't even expect them here at all till Saturday when people come for the scattering thing. Um, but there they were, and my dog was freaking out because Kuma doesn't like people here, and I was not pleased. Um... Apparently they didn't have phone service or something, and so that is the reason, but I don't know. Whatever. I don't like pe I don't like changes of plans suddenly. I don't like people unannounced at my house. I just generally don't like people at my house unless I have like time to know they're coming. So I was unpleased, as I said. Um but then they didn't like come in or anything. Um but then they left and I guess my dad's going to go hang out with them tomorrow. So whatever they can do what they want. So I am going to go to sleep now because well, it's after two and I'm not doing anything productive. So Kuma and I are going to call it a day and hope that tomorrow is a slightly less frustrating day. But like, let's be real. It's probably not going to be hope it is, but it probably isn't going to be. Anyways, hope that you all are having a decent time whenever it is that you are watching this, and I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty-night!